What is up ladies and gentlemen, Manny here, welcome back to the channel. This one goes out to all the skincare fetishists. When trying this underclean move on Odin's eye, I acquired due to inaccuracy when trying to catch this pocket, one of these annoying nail split injuries. No idea how you English people out there call these, so I'll just go with nail split. And you're begging for a skincare video for ages now. This is one of the few occasions where I actually apply some sort of skincare to treat respectively to prevent this kind of stuff. So there we go, that's what it looked like fresh and this is it on the same day dry. In my experience, sometimes when it's still fresh, it's not even too disturbing to keep climbing unless you're bleeding like crazy. You just gotta be a bit pain resistant. When it dries up though, it really starts to burn usually and doing a session on that can get painful. See here the difference in shape of my two middle finger tips injured on the left, intact on the right. You can see that the tip of the injured finger is more protruding, the soft tip at least, than on the right. And this in my experience can actually sometimes be a cause for this kind of injury. For example, when you just cut your nails and your nail is much shorter than the protruding soft tip below. I think in order to treat this properly, we first need to understand properly how these injuries emerge. I propose two theories. Number one, the protruding soft tip gets caught on an edge or on a sanded wall or something when trying to catch a hold dynamically. When you're a bit inaccurate, so to say, and this way you rip the tissue off. Something similar happened in my case, I think. But this is actually the less common cause, at least in my experience. Number two, you grab a really small edge, crimp it hard and thereby literally push the protruding tip under the nail and this way kind of shear the tissue off if that makes sense. This is for me the more common cause actually. Either way, preventing and treating this is therefore simple. You have to reduce the size of the protruding soft tip, especially after cutting your nails, so that nail and tip end up at roughly the same length. This will also prevent it from splitting further if you already acquired the injury. There we go, nail clipper, get rid of the excess nail there and then it's sandpaper time. Uh, really sand that tip down to the length of your nail, reduce the split depth as much as possible and that's it. Once in that state you can even do a session again like I did. It might hurt a bit but if you're not overdoing it, it shouldn't aggravate the injury and lengthen the healing time a lot. Obviously, simply not climbing will heal it the quickest, but who wants to do that, right? So this is it on day two. And here on day three. As it is growing out and callousing up, you can keep using the sandpaper here and there to reduce the split depth even further and thereby reducing the chance for this injury to happen even further. Yeah, that was recorded on the ferry back. Apparently something for free for boomers on there, I don't know. Anyway, leave a like and opinion if you've got something from this video. That's cool as usual and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.